Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Jerry from Back Country Ranch. Today we're gonna look at another bi-directional scanner, and this one's like top done. And as you guys know, the newer vehicles are all bi-directional. So if you have anything that's probably from like 2012 and newer for sure, those old OBD just basic scanners just aren't gonna cut it anymore. Newer vehicles have CAN bus, they have modules that those basic scanners cannot read and you need a bi-directional scanner to really get into the system to troubleshoot, diagnose, and fix the issue. Over the years, they've become cheaper and cheaper, and now we're gonna look at this one. So let's have a look at what's inside the box and let's get started. Some people like the unboxing stuff, so here it is. That's the box that it comes in, pretty nice box. Gives you all your details on the back. Two little tabs, flipper open and that case is in there. And that is the scanner itself. RDDAG 900 Lite. It actually looks pretty cool and it feels good in your hand. And of course, with any bi directional scanner, you have to go through the whole thing of setting up your Wi Fi, setting up your region, creating a login, username, and password. That's for um, not only for activation, but also for your account to get software. And now I'm just syncing the. VCI with the tablet itself. So now those are connected. It's got an expiry date. Now I'm going to do the updates. And this is the only issue that I had right off the bat. As I got to the updates, and I started doing the updates, and all was going fine. And then I get this message. There's the message right here insufficient storage. Please free up some space. And I was kind of confused. So I had a memory card, the spare one, so I stuck it in there. I formatted it, said how I was going to use it. And then I was able to download the rest of the software after that. But in the end, I didn't actually need it. I don't know what happened. Now that we had a look at it, I'm going to be honest and tell you that this thing feels pretty beefy, carbon fiber. But how good will it work? Let's plug it into my JK and let's see how well it performs. Alright, I'll plug that in. And most likely we're gonna have to do an update on that. Alright. Let's power this up. So I gotta pair it. Alright. Says I'm up to date. That's all connected. So let's go into diagnostics. Let's go VIN. Let's try out the auto VIN because that's always a big thing for me. So I can't do the auto VIN. And it just becomes a whole bunch of issues, especially when it comes to bi directional controls. You know what I mean? Okay, everything's coming up. Confirm. Let's just go auto scan. And then let's just do the scanning. It's got to go through everything. Five codes, probably the same codes as JK always has. So it's pretty fast. This is the gateway. What does this one say? Lost communication with radio. Hood ajar. Wiper park switch input circuit stuck high. History. And then there's this one. Lost communication with the radio because, of course, I don't have the factory radio. And the um, heater control circuit for the seat. I'm going to have to work on that one of these days when I have time. Tire pressure monitor, of course, because we don't have it connected. So let's go back into this one. It says it has an active test. Door locks. F1, all doors unlocked. Yeah, F2, all doors locked. Driver's door unlocked. See, these tests are awesome. So 
So these are just a list of some of the active tests. This is for the radiator fan. Right now I'm in the fan, I can hit 30% fan. Probably can't hear it. I hit 90% and then off. Yeah, you can test your headlights if you wanted to. Special function. So before I went to the auto scan, we had the hot functions, but let's look at the vehicle profile. So it tells you your year and make, which is very good. If you're looking for a vehicle, you want to be able to, a lot of stolen vehicles, you want to make sure that you can match the VIN number of the computer with the VIN number on the vehicle itself. Because there's a lot of people selling stolen vehicles with modified um, VINs. So the hot functions we could do oil reset, throttle adaptation, BMS reset, ABS bleeding, airbag reset. I'm going to exit this. So let's just look at the power train module. Let's go into active tests. These are all the active tests you can do. Jeeps are very prone to fuel pump issues. The relay goes in the tip them. And we can go right here and we can test it right there without automatically assuming that the fuel pump itself is bad. Lots of features in there. Oops, I backed out too far. And uh, let's go to special function. So land control throttle. Let's do a system check. And go inside there. Configuration. Can't change these settings, it just shows you how everything is set up. So this is my thoughts so far, my first time using it. The software is very easy to navigate, work yourself around. Software is also very quick compared to a lot of other scanners. <clears throat> it's laid out very simple. I did have some issues at first. Uh, with the memory card thing, which I ended up sticking the memory card, but then somehow I didn't need to with the updates. And then getting the hooking up the Bluetooth device for the first time, a lot of other scanners just automatically connect, but it was just hanging up there on the screen. And I actually had to press it and say connect by Bluetooth, and sure enough, it did. So after you've done that once, you won't have to do it again. As far as the software goes i'm actually going to have to contact them and see because the vci if it expires can you still use this one or does it not allow you to connect anymore it's something i'm gonna have to figure out I'm pretty sure just the software ends like all of them but i'm gonna have to message them and confirm with them so now i got it outside by 2015 cherokee and this thing is fully loaded with all the bells and whistles so it's got a whole bunch of modules it's got all these sensors for parking for anti-collision and all this so this is actually a good one to look at we just got out of a cold spell where it's minus 40 and it's like minus 27 today so there's a lot of issues because you get a little bit of frost and road debris on the sensor and it's going to flag that sensor so as you can see right now, I'm starting to scan it and I'm getting a lot of errors coming up. Like a lot more than what I should be getting normally. And you can see right there, HVAC, car lift gate, memory seat, radio, instrument cluster. But once I go inside, none of them are really all that important. Like the HVAC one, the fan, but it's like minus 40 and I had it running. The fan was just like kind of howling. so not working properly at that temperatures and i understand it and you know the blind spot sensors are all flagged because they're all covered with debris and dirt from the roads and such but i like how the scanner is quick it picked up all these little functions and now of course a lot of people like to look at is the live graph to get into the live graph on this when you go into the live data 
you can just click on it on the side and get the graph or there's a box on the left hand side you can click a bunch of boxes and then go into graph i don't know how many you can graph at once but it's got all the other things too that you can record in case you're troubleshooting like you're going to go for a test drive and you want to check the variables and something that's pretty standard on scanners but so far this one here i'm pretty impressed with it the uh, description is two years I think it's $120 to renew after that. And it feels good in your hand. It's super fast, like I said before, compared to other ones. It was kind of like a little bit of glitch at first, but so far I really like this one. Probably my top five for sure. So here it is right here. The top done is the RD Dag 900 Lite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking for a bi directional scanner, this is one that I would recommend getting. It is definitely very easy user interface to use and it's fast so i'll talk to you guys the next one take care everybody